Hey guys, in today's video, we will see how to make realistic flowers in Illustrator in no time. So there is one very cool option in Illustrator that lets you create vector as well as realistic flowers very easily. So let's get started. First, create an artboard of any size. Here I have taken a 1080 by 1080 canvas. Select the ellipse tool from the left side of the toolbar and draw a circle holding shift on your keyboard. I'll then center align it to the artboard. Next, we need to draw a star. So for this, select the star tool from the toolbar and then just click once on the center of the circle. Next, set the size to around 100 by 50 and the number of points to 10. Again, I'll center align it and pressing shift, scale the star a little bit so that it's bigger than the inner circle. Next, draw another star. This time, I'll set the size to 300 by 200. Next, with the direct selection tool, select all the outer points of the star holding shift on the keyboard and then click on convert to smooth curves. Next, we need to do the same thing for the inner star. Select the outer anchor points and then just convert them to smooth curve. Next, we will select the anchor point tool. So to select the anchor point tool, just right click on the pen tool and you will get this option and then click on the inner anchor points of the outer star and click and drag to pull it outwards. Do this for all the inner anchor points. Next, I'll select all the objects and set the stroke width to around 0.3 or 0.2. I'm taking 0.3. Make sure that the fill colors of all these shapes are null. Now we need to select the outer star and apply a gradient to the stroke. Just select the stroke and click on the gradient option. Select radial gradient. So on the left slider, give a lighter blue shade and on the right gradient, pick a darker blue gradient. Similarly, do it for the next inner star. This time, apply a darker shade of the color to the left gradient slider and a light shade on the right slider. Next, do the same for the circle. This time again, the left slider, use a darker shade and the right slider, a lighter shade and then bring the left slider all the way to the right. So we are done filling the gradients. Next step is to blend these shapes. So for this, select all the shapes and then go to object, blend and blend options. Select the spacing to specified steps and the number of steps to around 400. Hit OK. Again, with all the shapes selected, go to options, blend and then make so this is the result after blending. Next go to effect, distort and transform and then select pucker and bloat. So let's quickly see what the pucker and bloat option can do. In Illustrator, you can create any type of flowers using just this option. And with the basic shapes that are available in the toolbar, that is the square, circle, star and any other polygon. So with this option, when we increase the pucker value or the bloat value, there are certain changes that will happen to the shapes. So here I have taken certain basic shapes and then when I increase or decrease the pucker and bloat values, you can see what happens to the shape. It converts to something like a star or like a flower. So with this option, you can create realistic as well as 2D vector flowers in Illustrator. So here we will set the bloat value to something around 57% and then hit OK. Again, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and then select Zigzag. Here, set the values to something like this, size to 15, ridges to 7 and points to Smooth. And then hit OK. So we have our flower ready. Now let's add a background to it. Also, we will add another part to the center of this flower which can then be used as a separate flower. So to add the background, select the rectangle tool and then just drag over to create one. Then set the background color to something like dark blue and then press Ctrl plus Shift plus left square bracket to add it behind everything and then press Ctrl plus 2 to lock it. So all the shortcuts that I'm using here are all listed down in the description. So please have a look at that once. Next, to create another flower for the middle part of this one, we will create another artboard. Create a star with around 30 points and size around 100 by 50. Scale it a little bit and then 
change the gradient colors something lighter in the center and darker shade on the outer part next with the direct selection tool just click on the small circle like points on the outer anchor points and click and drag them inwards to round the vertex then press ctrl plus c to copy this shape and shift plus ctrl plus v to place it on the same position and just scale it down and then change the gradient color again and then select the two shapes go to object blend and make after that go to effects distort and transform pucker and bloat this time set the pucker value to something around minus 23 percent and then hit ok again go to effect distort and transform and select roughen make detail zero points to smooth and size to something around 48 percent now scale it down a little bit and then make a copy of this by pressing alt and click and drag to the center of our previous flower and then scale it down all the way to the center so here we have created two realistic flowers in illustrator with just the pucker and bloat option